Um, I'm Dina Rutherford and we're at the fire station at Grayson Roscoe in Lincoln Park in Chicago and this is the polling place for the 27th and 4th districts. So you're the precinct captain? Uh, one of them, yes. What does that entail? Uh, basically what we do is we go door to door around the neighborhoods make sure all the city services are, uh, are being met, garbage cans, cleaning up. We register voters. So what have you been doing today? Today we pretty much just help run and oversee the uh, election to make sure they've got the support they need and the staff and all the materials. Have there been crazy lines? Yeah, the line actually was out the door this morning until about 7.30, 8 o'clock. Wow. We voted 150 people in an hour, which is pretty heavy. They were saying inside they already got 80% of registered voters that voted already. Yeah. Do you know what that was like four years ago? Uh, I want to say four years ago, the total vote was about 65, 68%. This ward and these precincts vote pretty heavy regardless of the election. Uh, but with early voting, which is newer to Chicago, and with this presidential election, we'll, we'll be close to 90, 95%. Wow, thanks a lot. Uh, just been a lifelong Democrat and have been on the ballot, boy, I'm forgetting now, eight, nine times myself. And um, I'm excited about Barack Obama becoming the next president of the United States. Uh, do you have a good feeling about it? I do. I'm, I'm really excited about the turnout here and across the country. That alone uh, is already I think, uh, something to be proud of because Barack Obama has energized our country and the electorate, young people in particular. But I also feel very good about his chances of winning, certainly Illinois, but even our border states of uh, Indiana, Iowa, Wisconsin. Uh, I think he has a chance to win Missouri. And then across the country, you're going to see a lot of states turn from red to blue, and Barack Obama's going to be big. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Um, this is John Kaplis. He's an election judge. So, what have you been doing all day? Since 4.15, I've been here uh, from 4.15 to 6, setting up the bet, everything necessary for the election uh, the machines, the tables, the voting booths. And then at 6 o'clock, we welcome, we had maybe 75 people in line here, all the way stretched out the street. At 6 in the morning? Wow. Yeah, 10 minutes to 6 we had 10 people. At 6, we didn't get the crowd done until maybe 7.30. Or, or maybe 20 minutes to 8. There was, the line just kept on. And the other line also for the precinct, which is unbelievable. We have, in our precinct right now, whatever time it is, we have 77% of our people voted already. Voted. It's 3.14 p.m. Right. We've had 10 absentee ballots, 126 early votings, and I think it's around 3.20 or 3.30 uh, that have voted here personally, too. So how do you think the election's going to go? Uh, yeah. I still haven't voted, and I still haven't decided. Oh, wow. So you're the, the mythical last-minute voter everyone's no, talking about. No, never, never been that in my whole life. I was never been Hillary. undecided till the end? Never, never. I was always for Hillary, and I like both of the other candidates. I mean, the top two candidates. I'm not talking about the Green or the rest of the remainder. So what do you think is going to make you decide? Getting my wife the wire. comes out here in about three minutes, so she's voting right now. And so I'm going to ask her. <laughs> That's an easy life, an easy decision. All right, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Have I'm a good day. I'm serious, always ask her. This is Omnair Shannon. He's 22 years old. He's a computer science student at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Um, According to the election judge back there, he is a geek today, but his name tag says polling place administrator. So, what do you do as a polling place administrator? Um, well, mostly today I've been reading, um, but I'm mostly here to fix any technical problems with the voting machines or the ballot reader. So, the election judges, when they go to their training, um, they learn all about the different paperwork and who can and can't vote and things like that. And they teach us how to handle machines. Has it come up? Uh, we had uh, some problems earlier in the day. Um, like when we set up one of the uh, touchscreen machines, the printer was not working. Um, and I, I called Election Central, but they weren't really helpful and I ended up 
unplugging it and plugging it back in. <laughs> it's great. Pretty good. You're professional. Um, how'd you get this gig? Um, I got an email and From signed up. the Illinois Democrats? Or? Don't remember. All right, well that sounds legit. <laughs> um, what are your plans for tonight, Mr. Shadad? Um, I have a ticket to uh, the Obama rally in Grant Park, so I'm right. excited about that. Well, TKS, we'll see you there. <laughs>